and uh, g'day welcome back or me welcome back to this channel it's uh, how it strikes cleared and I'm just doing a, a sort of little video of the 369 patience card game and it's more defined rules and also it sort of teaches you I think about uh, sequencing you know thinking about how genetic sequences because what we do we take out all the cards 10 and above they don't get used in the game except for depicting what honors you get so we use all of the cards 9 and lower ace is one and we give them a good shuffle so just think you know all the combinations that there could be as I start this game um, you know the billions trillions probably and no game is the same every game is different and there's some particularly uh, really cool things about it <clears throat> and uh, so I think it's a good game it can last up it can last for a good couple of hours um, and uh, sometimes it can be over quite quickly so the honours thing is if you get so the if you haven't seen the previous videos so what you've got to do is uh, you've got to look for three cards that add up to either 9, 18 or 27 there's only one combination that adds up to 27 that's three nines and that's top honours so your first three nines if you get one you get the king of diamonds and that would be like an honour at the end of the game um, <coughs> three sixes would give you a queen and then three threes would give you a jack if we get the tens and then if you get another set of three threes you get the clubs and so forth so, uh, so I'll be playing this game and um, fast forwarding the boring bits while I listen to the radio and uh, I'll teach you the game as well from the start so you lay out seven cards face up so that's seven columns and then we go again because you need at least three cards to be able to make a set it has to be three cards and the, so some of the specific rules are there to help uh, to help basically you want it to be an enjoyable game you don't want to have to be concentrating overly too much so we start from this row and, and work uh, so we're looking for three cards that will add up to 9, 18 or 27 so none there, none there, none there, none there, none there so none on that run and we've got one there on the second row, second column so five, six, seven add up so as you play the game you'll remember which combinations work and then you'll be quicker at it now the way you take it out is the way you should put it under your set until and we'll probably get there quite quickly we've got another one there 5, 9, 4, 18 oops Right, so this is going quite well at the start, so I'll turn the radio up a bit and wait till I get Right, so I've got six cards left. So that means 
the next if I get three now which I have here the top one I can choose so so you still have to go in order from here so you have to pick up the first set that you get so 4 plus 7 plus 7 is 18 and so I can just look at these three and go you know what do I want here yeah I want a 7 anyway so I'll leave it in the in the same order so that that's basically ensured that the game doesn't die too early so now I've got two cards so the next set that I get no 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 it's this uh, this one here so that's up to nine So I'm thinking, so ace, I don't really want three aces in the same set. And that's going to get a set anyway, so I'll do that. So this is the only time you're allowed to arrange the cards. It's the only time you'd want to anyway. I've got another set here. So that's five. So this will be going on to this one. And this, you know, without doing this, you know, the game would die uh, much more often. <clears throat> so I want a five on that one. So it'd be like that. And then the rest of the time, you know, you don't want to get down to just a few cards left. So most of the time you don't want to be thinking about which order you're putting the cards in. Because it's just interesting to see how things unfold. But that is every now and then we need an intervention. And it might carry on for a bit like that until we get another really good flow. Or, you know, eventually we'll start to lose some of these columns. By the way, you're not allowed to fiddle, we'll call it what I was doing then. You're not allowed to fiddle an honor, a triplet, a threes, a sixes, or a nines. That's not allowed. And that's how you know you haven't screwed up. <laughs> Fill the wrong place. Finally, we've got rid of one column.
It's kind of this sort of thing that I find interesting, you know, when you can get, you know, four sevens so close together. You know, how often does that happen? You know, stuff like that. Every time you take away a column, um, it seems to upset the flow a bit. Although going from seven to six is usually quite easy. Going from if I lost if I lost a couple of columns now, if you lose them too fast, often the game will screw up. So you need to kind of lose a column, get your rhythm back, hopefully get an honour, and then uh, lose another column. I purposely didn't want to get rid of a column at that point. Powerful earthquake in western Afghanistan. Officials said several villages had been completely destroyed in Herat province. And thereby not changing the order. Blown up in his car. Vladimir Malov. That was nearly a trick on everyone. Four out of six had a take. Oh, there was that one as well, wasn't it? The other day, I think I had five columns, but I had a trick on every single one. And again, that just made me think about this, you know, genetic sequencing and or how just sequences can go. You know, how many possible combinations there are and just think it's there's something to it. So I can't rearrange to get the honour. That would be not honourable. So you don't get the the honour. And um, yeah, I'm just not going to do it either.
ちょっと待って。Jack of Dimes out, and that's that sits there. Who did you win there. against? Who did I win against? Luck. Yeah, and I what's, suppose. What? What's the aim of the game? The aim of the game is to get rid of all the columns, and a little bit of magic happens at the end if you make it. Yeah. What? The last. So you you get down to one column. If you get down to one column, you're going to make it. And as you're getting rid of them, when as you get down to the last two, the next card will always guaranteed make it a set. And I don't know how that works, but that is pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah. Look at that. I mean, how often does that happen? You're down to three ro three columns, one on each, and it adds up to 18. <laughs> hey.
This could potentially die right now. You can't see it, but the card's over here. There's too many cards locked up in this long column. But we'll see, maybe. So I didn't make it, but um, what's interesting is when you get down to one column and, and you know you're getting down to this and then you know you're getting down to this whatever. When you get when in the end you get a trick, so you get that one, so you get that one right. The next card always makes not in this case because I've done it. Unfortunately I didn't get to show you that, but you know that's the way the cookie game goes. 